What's up guys? Today we're watching season 3, episode 4 of Peaky Blinders. So, last episode we found out that Grace was officially dead. I'm pissed off about it. Don't get me started. I'm mad. But, in the episode, Tommy did go see if, like, the gem that he gave her was actually cursed or not. Like, the other dude said it was, or whatever. And it turned out it was actually cursed. So, forget them for actually giving her that damn gem. But by the end of the episode, we found out that Arthur and, like, his lady, his lady, is pregnant. And I think that's really cute. And I'm kind of ready to see, like, how that's going to, like, change Arthur in a way, you know? Maybe he'll be less aggressive. Maybe not. We'll see. But I guess, let's get into the episode. Who killed it though? Tommy. Where the viaduct looms like a bird. Of a whole group of them. This letter says her dad's dead. Just lost his wife and now. They just lost their dad. Not that they really talked to him much anyway, but like... Weekend. One weekend he was like that. It's time to still remember him. Wait. Ew. Why'd you have to show me that? John, I have to say this. You can name your new baby after him if you like. No. Arthur, I won't even ask. New baby. I thought Arthur was also having a kid. So they're gonna have a kid that's basically the same age. There's gonna be a robbery. Okay. Where are we robbing? I wish to confess. There's no confessional today. The name's Shelby. She's getting her confession today. Elizabeth Gray. Where do you think God calls me Paul or Polly? Voice calls me Paul. Where where do people get Polly from Elizabeth? That's what I want to know. Says this to you. It's in my head. Who else would it be talking to? And are you the murderer? She did it once. Maybe a few more times. I don't know if they ever said if she did, but all I remember was Campbell, dude. No. My confession is I feel no regret. He was a policeman. He was a bad man. See, so it was Camp Campo, Campbell, whatever. But it's like, why are you just doing that now? Because apparently to the timeline, that's been two years ago. Does this way of excusing a murder still work if the life that is going to be taken is a consecrated man? Whose life does she plan on taking? Don't tell me it's the dude that was doing a portrait. <sighs> Forgot the combination. 24A, 22. How do you know the paper cash combination? Tommy talked in his sleep. Shut up. Hmm? How would you know? And actually, I am sleeping with Tommy, okay? Now and then. Because he wants to now and then when the mood takes him. Man. Happy? No. I know. I can see it in your eyes, man. Part of the reason for doing this last job is so you'll be set up when you do decide to walk away. Last job? So that's his last job for Arthur? To be a help. Run up to the shops and get me 20 senior service. 
Lizzie will give you the change. <laughs> Actually, I'll use my own money, Polly. Do they, like, not really like Linda? Honestly, believe those who march on Good Friday will have God on their side. Who's at the door? So it's like a girl's day out type of thing. I'm sorry I came unannounced. What do you want? We need proof. I forgot who she was for a second and then I saw her face. She looks really similar to the other girl who apparently he's sleeping with. It was my aunt's idea that I came alone. She's in charge of this. I literally thought she was about to kiss him right then and there, like, bro, is this really the time and place? I just found a garrison, right? I just spoke to Billy. He says Polly, Esme and Lizzie have gone on fucking strike. <laughs> it was. Why is that funny, John? There's a Bentley on the drive outside. I want you to go out, put a nail in its tire. It's Good Friday, so there'll be no garages open. The lady will have to spend the night. Oh, no. So you're gonna start sleeping with her, too? Polly didn't finish the count yesterday. Hmm. So you thought you could take a tenner? I thought I'd finish the count. Are you accusing her of shit? Listen, I know you miss the travelling. It's all gonna be all right. Stop being a hen in a coop. You got so aggressive right there. Like... It's all gonna change, isn't it? This is not your bedroom. So they already did it. What do you care where he did it with his wife? I swear she puts one of the biggest sapphires into her body for pleasure and walks up the stairs to breakfast with it still in place. <laughs> the fuck? Okay. That's weird. Talking about duchesses with sapphires inside of him. Mm. I think I already know your weakness. Do you though? I can get a fuck whenever I want, love. <laughs> right now you hide inside it like a boy is broken in through the window. Why do we come to a bedroom for this? In your own house. You think he really wants to do it in the same bed that he used to with his actual wife? Like... Your brothers, your soldiers, no one can stop you. Don't point a fucking weapon at me. I can be an actress. Who do you want me to be? I don't know what your problem is. I emptied the chamber except for one bullet. It's like Russian roulette type shit. Fucking thing. What is with her, bro? You are afraid. Like a boy is broken in through the window. I need to educate you on how to run a house like this. Why are you trying to tell him how he should run his own house? Drunk. It's all right, sir. Should I pour whiskey? Yes, no. he will have whiskey. Oh, and I will. Yeah. He will have whiskey and I will have wine. Mary, there. go back to bed. What the hell? My God. I know your weakness, Tommy. It's freedom. He 
he is free to do whatever the hell he wants. I guess in a way. But I mean, he's just trying to do things legally. Who understands you? I don't think so. I found her perfume. Put it on. That is weird. And kill him. From now on, you must do everything that you want to do. Is he gonna do it though? Yeah. From what she said when she was out of her fucking mind, I'm pretty certain the treasury is underneath the house. What have you got? From the British Library, using a scholar's pass. Keeps his ears open. All right? Come. The Executive Committee of the Union of Bookies and Allied Trades will see you now, sir. I heard you were giving speeches off the back of a wagon, Paul. I can't remember a fucking thing. So she was drunk after the whole thing. So, separate lavatory, is that it? Is that what you want? I don't know what you want, so you have to tell me what it is that you want, and then I'll know. You're yeah, wrong. John has a big mouth. No. Arthur's got a big mouth. Arthur told Linda. Linda told me. Look at Arthur just freaking ratting shit out. Get back to work. Let's make a move. Keep us posted, won't you, sister? I will. I like how they're faithful to each other. She stayed the night. I'm working, Paul. I am working for the good of the company. Are you the... Yeah. You were correct not to talk over the phone. What did she say? She said there was going to be a killing. A holy man. Oh, so she meant that they were going to kill him, not the other dude. They meant the priest. And now he basically just got told. Forget that dude, ma'am. Isn't that shit supposed to be, like, confidential kind of thing? Like, you're not supposed to tell anyone else? It's ours from their treasury. And a bit more on top of a lock. If you're saying you're going to stop Arthur, I need to know. That'll be Arthur's decision. At this point, it kind of doesn't seem like it. 30,000 pounds, we made a deal. And afterwards, you and Arthur can begin your new life. Is that not enough? Arthur agreed to a plan with a figure of 25. 25 from 150 is 125. A third of that is 41,000 pounds. So he's being ripped off in a way. But I don't imagine he'll accept less than 41. May I smoke? No. Damn. Y'all aren't really getting off on the wrong, f like, on the right foot. Yes. California. The child's health away from the smoke. We want to run a general store on an Indian mission. So y'all want to go to America after your baby's born? Or, like, before? Good for the painting. It's not a vow, it's just... I think when men want sex, they become hilarious. <laughs> oh, God, Polly. May I respectfully point out that so far, you haven't even picked up the bloody lead. That's his hint. Oh, God.
how is he gonna do anything when he's surrounded by kids? Well, he's not anymore. I figured something bad was about to happen. God damn, leave the man alone already. Wait, what did they do? What the hell? This was not supposed to happen. Shelby. Why were you attempting to kill Father Hughes? Maybe we should wait until he's fully conscious. Maybe. You're trying to kill me, were you? I'm passing information. Fuck. He knows. Maybe you shouldn't have said that in this condition. You are among the odd fellows. Please count from ten to one. Ah, oh, fuck you. Not the best thing to say. I am passing on information to the Soviet Embassy on the instruction of Section D. It's part of a bigger picture. Are you telling this to him? Because, like, oh. So you're not gonna kill him. I thought he was, you were just telling him because he was about to die. You do as we say, or we will take your son. Hear this. Don't you dare threaten Charles. <laughs> Who's gonna find him? Put them in the front and the back of the house, you feed them and you... Why are they needed, sir? I've oh, brought a curse how far into this house, Mary. And now I'm paying for it. Now he's trying to fix it. Right. Gypsies and kid only. Yeah. Good. Tommy, can I ask you why? Tommy. And you just hang up. And get me a meeting with someone from the Soviet Embassy. Embassy. Tonight. Your place, 10 a.m. 10 p.m. That's pretty late for a meeting. Why in Tatiana? Polito. Bad girl. He's he's weird. And creepy. They shouldn't believe him, but they're going to. Sorry, I'm right. I am. You see the condition this man is in. Are you really gonna say that it was like a a lie, basically, that he said? Well, I've got me to apologize. I have already explained that you now realize that you're. You can't tell me that is not weird that it's happening right after. Oh my god, I'm heartily sorry for having good. Instead of God, say my name. Since it was me you offended with your false allegation. You're expecting too much, bro. Well, now that we are a united band once more, perhaps we could order some food. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling well. I have to go. Good night. You definitely should have got some help, like, way before Tommy. Armored cars from a fry factory in Birmingham. We know about the robbery. We have an informant. No, your informant is working for them. They want you to know about the robbery. Ooh, so he's, like, turning them in, in a way. They want you to... They want you to stop the robbery. They want you to commit a violent act. 
I'm pretty sore. Wait, is, is he doing what the other dude told him to do? Like, this is why he's telling him. Why are you telling us this? Because my family are the ones who will be sacrificed. We just had to blow up the train. Ew. My God. I promise I'll also lie down. If I'm not conscious when I get there, tell him I have a fractured skull. Concussion and a general bleed. I think I might have hemorrhage. You should have been goddamn help. Except for you, Dad. already pissed off by this episode it's so weird because i'm so used to seeing tommy like everyone fears him like you know he's all big and bad you know now it's like we had this other dude to fear and then now tommy's in a different position to where it's like he could barely even do anything and now he's scared for his family and for himself in a way and it's like so much is happening dude already freaking threatened his son, his wife is dead, his dad is dead. Everything is going wrong right now. It started with Grace's death and then it's been going downhill since then and it pisses me off. Like why? Because of that damn freaking cursed gym or whatever it was. Fuck that. I'm just so mad how everything is right now. Everything used to be so fine and dandy. And then now. And then freaking Linda. Linda's basically, in a way, I want to say, taking up for Arthur in a way and making sure he's getting, like, the portion he deserves of, like, the cut money for the robbery. But it's like, they're not going to get that money now, I don't think. Because they all know about it now. So how are they even going to get the money? So now that's probably going to be off. So it's like, I feel bad, but then I don't. Tommy's in a bad position. Like, literally, man looks like he's about to die. And he still went through with, like, all the other shit before he even went to the hospital. Like, even whenever they were, like, beating that man up, I heard, like, a little, like, I thought something was either being ripped from his body or something. I don't know. I was like, what the hell did they take or whatever? But it didn't show anything. So, like you said, I guess it happened, like, internally or something, but, like, that episode was brutal. Like, did they not see how that man looked, like, at that dinner? Whenever he was, like, apologizing to the damn dude, did they not see that something was wrong? Like, obviously, like, they had to know that something was going on. Like, how do you just look past that? I'm just pissed off at how this all turned out. I wish it ended differently. And I wish we were in a better position, but you know, shit has to go up and down. We can't always be winning. But I'm just ready to see if Tommy's gonna end up being all right. So I guess come back for episode five.